Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to show you one of our new kits. You know, we just we had, had this designed a while ago, but we just got our PCBs in. And what it is is it's a uh, it's an analog to digital converter kit, 8 bit, 8 bit output, 8 bit outputs here. Uh, the outputs numbers will be talked about in the listing itself. I won't talk about that too much. There's also a 5 volt regulated output and a ground output for external interface to your circuit. Uh, there are uh, uh, eight LEDs to show you what uh, what what's going on in the analog to digital converter. You have the option of disabling those LEDs to save power by uh, uh, disconnecting the short across these two pins. Right now, if you uh, if you put a, a short along these two pins labeled LEDs, uh, uh, it basically dis disconnects the the ground the common ground connection, so the LEDs won't turn on to save power. Uh, anyway, and there's there's a few different modes here. It's also a window comparator, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, right now, you can actually what you can do is you can also use it as a touch sensor. The input the input pin is connected to the uh, input here labeled ref plus. There's also a ground connection, and this is in the default mode with none of the header connections connected. What I'll do is I'll touch here, and that's an ungrounded connection. So that's basically voltage coming off my body. Now, if I ground my thumb, it changes a little bit. So it's a t you can use it as a touch sensor. That logic is actually going to the outputs here. But let me show you uh, let me show you uh, a, a better example of of what's going on with this uh, kit. Now, this is mode one, meaning it's constantly checking the ADC and outputting it to the uh, outputting it to the uh, LEDs and to the outputs. It's doing that hundreds of times a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a potentiometer voltage divider on the input pin, on the ref plus pin, so we can see the whole uh, 8 bit, the whole 8 bit window. Sorry if there's a bit, that's a bit dark. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to get it from an angle that I could show you what's going on. I've got 5 volts to a, ver a variable resistor which is acting as a voltage divider to the ref plus pin. Right now at the ref plus pin there's 0 volts. So I'm going to use <coughs> this um, <coughs> to up the voltage all the way to 5 volts, and then two, 255 steps. So as you can see, you can interface this with your Arduino, your PIC, your um, basic stamp, your ARM, your digital project, whatever you want. It's pretty neat. Uh, you can put a, a little microphone on the input. You can put a temperature sensor on the input, you can put a humidity sensor on the input, whatever your heart desires. So I'm just going to speed this up a bit. Uh, and we're at 5 volts max. So I'm going to show you another I'm going to show you another uh, another uh, section of this that you can you can use. Uh, essentially right now it's sampling. What if you wanted to sample it only when you pressed a button or when you um, you pulsed uh, an external pulse to a uh, to align. That's what we're going to do next. I do want to add that this uh, ADC can only handle 0 to 5 volts. You pump more than that on it, you're going to fry the chip, so buyer beware. So what I've done is I've powered it down and uh, I've put a header connector on the ADC pin set. There's two pin sets here. Uh, one's labeled COMP and one's labeled ADC. If you put a connector on the ADC pin, it makes it so that it only samples it when you press the button or when you add a, when you every time you pulse uh, a five volt pulse to this wire. Now this wire is connected to um, the side panel here, labeled uh, ground and uh, pulse. It's just an external ground connection and uh, basically a wire that you can pulse to to sample to indicate a sample. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it on. And I'm going to press the set uh, cell button, SEL, for select. Oh, that's right. I have zero volts at the input. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the voltage up. Now I'm going to sample it. So right now we've got three. If you look at it from a nibble perspective, nibble one, nibble two, most significant nibble, least significant nibble, we have three. 6 hex. So let's just uh, let's just try it again. We'll continue to increment the voltage. Press the button. There we go. 
you wouldn't be using the sell button, but I added it anyway. You'd likely be pulsing, uh, pulsing a pulse to this external pulse wire. It has to be a, uh, ev for every pulse. Uh, it doesn't pulse fast, meaning there's a delay after every sample. So hopefully that's not too ambiguous for you. Uh, <clears throat> I'll do one big turn, maybe five, six full turns. Uh, that's good enough. And I'll press select again. Another sample. We're almost at five volts, as you can see. Uh, anyway, I really, really, I've been wanting to do this kit for a long time. It's, uh, you know, it's really, it's a really neat kit, and I think it'd be really useful if you have it in, in constant sampling mode with none of the headers connected. Uh, you could add a mic to the input, and you could set the set volume. You could. It, it's really, really quite neat. I might make some more videos with this in the future. But if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Now let me show you the comparator mode. Now I've taken the header off the ADC pin set and put it onto the uh, comp pin set for comparator. Now this is a window comparator. And remember that all of these LEDs are simulating what's going on at the uh, output here for interface. Uh, um, so when I set it to comparator mode and I turn it on, you have to, you can't make these settings on the fly. They go into certain program modes on power up, and they make a check. So uh, if you have the header connected to the uh, comp or to the comp connector, what happens is, is it's acting like it's sampling like like a, just in the normal ADC mode. But the cool thing is, is this. Say I want my upper voltage to be somewhere in the middle here let's say uh, you know D0 D0 so I mean we're talking near 5 volts that's our upper threshold I'm gonna press set one we've set that as our upper threshold in memory now you might have seen the uh, LED flash that LED is labeled accept so now I'm gonna set my lower threshold which will be down you know, just maybe, uh, there we go, let's just say that, that's our threshold. Uh, if, you know, if you, you need to learn binary to really understand what these, uh, w what these LEDs are signifying. If you don't know binary, go learn about it, because it's really interesting. Uh, now, I, before, I, before I set my, le my lower threshold, what I'm going to say is, um, if you divide 5 volts by 255, you get about 20 millivolts per step. So, 20 millivolts times 255 is roughly 5 volts. So, you multiply that by the binary, uh, the binary value uh, of the LEDs times 20 millivolts, and that's what you ha that's what's at the input. So I'm going to set this as my lower threshold by pressing the cell button again. Now it goes into compare mode. I mean, there's uh, the uh, LED zero means that it's at the lower threshold. Uh, LED one is uh, means it's it's in the window but it's between the upper and lower threshold and LED uh, 2 is the upper threshold meaning it's the voltage of the input is, is above our what we've said is our upper threshold so let me just start turning the potentiometer I, it should almost immediately go to the with, within our range so you can use this as you can use these three outputs to uh, with your microcontroller to say, uh oh, the voltage is too high, the voltage is too low, or the voltage is right within the window and it's just right. So I'm going to turn the voltage up. There we go. We've exceeded our upper threshold. It's a window comparator, and it'll continue to do this. You can, you can, it's sampling, it's sampling, you know, constantly. So I'm going to turn it, the the sampling back down again. We're in our window. We're above our upper threshold, we're in our window, and we are below our lower threshold for input voltage. Hopefully that makes sense. Window comparators are really cool. Uh, I'm really glad that I finally made one that's, that's quite accurate, and it's all within this kit. You can find this kit uh, and uh, fully assembled modules tested at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. Uh, I'll be making an assembly video very soon within the next day or so, so stay tuned for that, and uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.